Who presents Justina to be married to Justin? May be seated. Dear family and friends of Justin and Justina, we're gathered here in the presence of the Lord to celebrate their union and marriage. The holy relationship of marriage was instituted by the Lord from the beginning, and being of divine appointment, it is therefore honored among all peoples. It is to be entered into joyfully, thoughtfully, lovingly, and reverently. With this desire, these two persons come now to be united. There is a skill to marriage as there is to any activity people engage in. This art requires that we pay thoughtfulness to the little things as well as the big ones that are part of the closeness of matrimony develop the capacity to forgive and forget, and heal quarrels as they happen. Say I love you, and speak words of appreciation often. Do not come to take each other for granted, and demonstrate your gratitude in thoughtful ways. Never grow too old to hold hands. Do not expect perfection of each other. Perfection is only for God. Make your search for the good and the beautiful, a common search. Justin, this woman who you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She has given you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's life and a woman's love. You may bring her great joy or cause her deep sorrow. It is not what you bring her in a material way that will make true happiness. Riches without love are nothing. The gift without the giver is bare. Do you vow here that you'll be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Yes. Justina, the man who you hold by the hand is to be your husband. On your life, your love and devotion, he'll lean for strength and inspiration. He's going to look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness, and confidence. No matter what the world may say or think, people may forget him, lose confidence in him, and turn their backs upon him, but you must not. Do you vow here that you will be loyal in adversity, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? The book of Romans says, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Okay, if you'll repeat after me, Justin, you first. I, Justin, take you, Justina, to be my best friend my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you're down, 
and to love you unconditionally through all our adventures in life together. Okay. If you'll repeat after me, Justina. I, Justina, take you, Justin, to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you're down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. These rings are powerful symbols. The circle symbolizes the wholeness of your love, unbroken and everlasting. The precious metal represents the sincerity of your commitment. It is strong, enduring, and does not tarnish. As you wear them, may you be reminded of your eternal love for and devotion to each other. First, repeat after me and then place the ring on your finger. With this ring, I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. And you put the ring on your finger. With this ring, I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Let us pray. Father, we pray for all married persons that they may continue to give, be able to forgive, and experience more and more of the joy of the Lord with each passing day. And especially for Justin and Justina, now beginning their married life together, that they may have divine assistance, the constant support of family and friends, and a long life with good health. May your fullest blessing come upon Justin and Justina from this day forward, forever and ever. Amen. Justina, Justin, you've committed yourselves through solemn vows. Your life is now one. May your love be an indestructible force. May it shine as a beacon example. Together, please now light the candle symbolizing your sacred union. From every being, there rises a light that reaches straight to the heavens. And when two people are destined to be together, find each other, their streams of light flow together, and a single brighter light goes forth from their united being. You are mature people who have established individual patterns of living, yet you have found not only a need for companionship, but the satisfaction of that need in each other's company. It is this love, based upon a responsible understanding, that will aid you in creating out of your two lives a marriage and a happiness you'll share together. Stand fast in hope and confidence, believing in yourself and believing in each other. 
Your friends and family, all of us here, rejoice in your happiness. And we pray that this day marks only one of many more blessings you'll share in the days and years ahead. And now that you've spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives, we now, by the power of your love and commitment that you've made, declare you, Justin, and you, Justina, husband and wife. It is said that the entire universe exists in the hold of a kiss. Justin, you may kiss your bride. I'm pleased to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Kemsky. Baby, it's been a long day. Things ain't been going my way, and though I need you, yeah. Yeah, my mind. All the time. And baby, the way you move me, it's crazy It's like you see right through me and make it easier You please me, it's only 